guys welcome back to another vlog a nightlife vlog i have some things i need to take care of tonight before i go to bed and you know i decided to bring you guys along with me while i take care of some business uh i'm on a tight schedule since i'm back home now i'm only here for a few weeks and then i'm going back to my brother's house and so um i need to get a lot done um, I already shipped out orders that have been placed through me directly. My website is not open yet. It doesn't open back up until this Friday, which is November 6th. And on that date, my website will be open to the public. But right now, I have private orders, some custom things that I've been sending out. And I need to just get some work done overall. Um, I have two new swimsuits that I need to take photos of and take photos in. Write product descriptions. Um, as well, here's the new, here's, oops, here's two of the new, um, swimsuits. One is, it's really hard to show you this one, but one is a, like, tiger print suit. It is, like, one shoulder, or you can use the strap for the other one, but it does come with the little adjustable tabs that you can take off on the front and the back. And one side is fully covered. The other side is all the way open. It's super cute. This one isn't as high cut as it looks, but it is high cut <clears throat> enough to be still in style and look super cute. I like the high cut swimsuit because it really elongates your body. So if you haven't tried it on a high cut swimsuit or high cut bikini bottom, definitely try it. I know a lot of girls who are a little bit more slim don't like the high cut um, one pieces because they say most of the time the problem is in like the back area where it has like, you know, that loose effect. But that's just bad, a bad fitting suit. My suits don't do that. Okay. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> My suits don't do that. It doesn't give you that gap. Order true to size and you'll be fine. This is another, um, whoops. This is another uh, one-piece swimsuit as well that I'm going to be adding to the site. If I can just fix this little clasp. Oh, I put it on backwards. I think. Yeah, I did. Okay, there it is. This is another one. Um, it's just open. It has the mesh right here. Solid mesh panels on the side this one is high cut um it has like a cute little cheeky bottom i have i tried this one on in my size and the coverage for this is actually pretty good it's not as cheeky as my other ones but this is super cute again true to size and it has a clasp um closure in the back like that so it will go i'm doing it wrong again It would close like this and the reason I got this one is because even though it looks like one of those swimsuits that would be super sexy because of all the mesh it's actually quite sporty I don't know if you can just tell by how I'm holding it up like the neckline it has like a scoop neckline but the straps don't go all the way to the shoulder right here it kind of goes like that and it creates more of a sporty look and I got these because I love resort season and these are just going to do really well I already have people talking about them just from a little snippet that I posted like a two three weeks ago of this so I know it's going to do well but these are the two new swim pieces that I'm going to be introducing I'm also going to um finally bring out the blue bottoms as well this is how this one is my favorite I know I love a good one piece don't get me wrong but this right here this right here this is my favorite. Oh, I should tell you. These two pieces are boutique items. These meaning I purchased these um, through a vendor. These are two pieces that I sourced out myself. Quality checked, everything. And it goes in alignment with my current product. Um, so these are um, officially Mayhem Swim. These are my own design, my own sewn cut and sew designs. And this blue does no justice on this with this light on, but... It has like a little pearl effect, shimmer effect. I'm also bringing back the wrap tops on the six. So as you can see, I have a lot, a whole lot of work to do. <laughs> Ugh, these braids. Another part of work to do, I need to take these braids out of my head. They've been in my hair for two months. Y'all, y'all, I ain't got no more parts. My hair better be down my back, okay? When I take these out, but... 
because I take these braids out tomorrow. But as for now, <sighs> I'm out of breath. As for now, I am going to update my channel banner. Or oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna work on it, tweak it to see what I like, and then I'm going to get to actual work. I need to get this denim. I need to start working on this denim. I have a whole two two bucket fulls of denim downstairs that are getting pre-washed and pre-soaked um, right now. Um, this is a part of Mayhem Swim as well. Uh, these are all, I think these ones are all the signature Levi's, I believe. I know this is a signature Levi. So these are original signature Levi jeans right here. And this is a small pair. I rarely come across a small pair when I source them myself. So I'm trying to find more small sizes because usually the girls that shop the Levi's are the ones that come, they can't find their size. So I tend to stick to size medium and large and extra large as opposed to small and extra smalls. But now I notice girls with, that are smaller, they want jeans. So I've been sourcing smaller jeans and I have to customize all these jeans. Pre-soak, pre-wash, customize some more. Pre-soak, pre-wash, customize, and then upload it to my site all before Friday. And these are a huge big seller for Mayhem Swim. Um, because I consider this beachwear, this is something that I implemented when I first launched Mayhem Swim, um, my denim shop, and it just sold out. And I think it sold out. Well, I know it sold out because I already had somewhat of a following on Depop through my denim shop. So all the girls basically went from Depop to MayhemSwim.com and purchased denim from there because I offered the more exclusive denim on my website because that's just smart. So now... I have a denim thing going on and I source all of these Levi's by myself, Levi's, Guess, um, Polo, original, all original jeans, hard jeans, not the stretchy jeans, actual hard jeans that can be in water and salt water and it will never lose its shape. So these are always good to wear on a nice beach day, vacation, travel. And that's why they do so well in my shop. But I do have to customize these tonight and get these ones ready for pre-washing tomorrow. The other thing. Let me move this real quick. When I, um, when I do my customizing for jeans. Oh, this is a little tip for anybody out there selling custom denim. I know a lot of girls that follow me on YouTube, on this YouTube channel. Um, they sell on Depop and they found me on Depop. Uh, Deep Depop. Depop. That's how you found me on YouTube. But when you customize your denim, so these ones right here. Let me see. These are men. You can always tell the men's jeans from the women's. I like to buy the men's jeans because the men's jeans are just better. So these are men's jeans, right? So the men's jeans fit square because men's bodies are. They tend to be more up and down rather than a woman's body. It has a curve, a natural curve to our bodies. Now, I know women, some women are going to be like, well, I'm just up and down. You still have like a natural, tiny little curve. You're not just square like men. And so for men's jeans, when you sell these and you're trying to customize them um, for a woman's body, which is what I do, sometimes I leave it and let them do their own tailoring and things like that. But for some styles, especially these signature styles that are really square, you take the side right here. You see the side seam? You would take the side, you would literally pinch it in like this, right? So when you see both of my hands, see how both of my hands are like this? Naturally, that's already a curve. It's going to be a curve created to a woman's body. So it'll look more like this. By the time the customization is done, it'll look more like this. You see how it's curved now? So this would fit more on a woman's waist than a men's waist because men's are like this, women's are like this. It takes a lot of tweaking to get this done correctly because you have to cut off the little tabs and move them over and all kinds of stuff. But that's why my denim sells is because I pay attention to little things like that. So when you buy them, it fits, it hugs, it stays. So... That's a little tip. Don't get laid back cause you're not that cool. Don't think you're safe and sound walking around breaking rules. I bet your parents are worried sick. That's not as cool as you think. Not as cool as you think. Yeah. This right here 
is how you would edit your um, YouTube banners. So right now, all I'm doing is playing around with some images. I like this as a headshot. It's always good to have some sort of headshot on your page for business purposes, especially because you don't know who's looking at your channel. You don't know what advertisers are looking. You don't know what sponsors are in the works or potential sponsors. So it's always a good idea to have something that reflects you. But also, this is just this is already input. This is not mine. This is from Canva right here. The words but you can just play around with it a lot and because i'm a swimwear channel um i'm going to implement some sort of swimwear picture because i mean that just makes sense um so i'm searching over here for a swimsuit photo of some sort i want the one in brown um if i can find it uh i think it's this one whoops it's in the wrong spot but See that one? Now you don't want your butt out because that's not good for advertisers and it's not kid friendly. So you would just have to edit that. And make it appropriate. So you see it's a swimsuit photo and I think when you upload this onto YouTube you'll only be able to see this small portion like this part right across the middle. So keep that in mind. basically took a break and I had to get some other stuff done I had to go check on the jeans that are pre soaking and everything so I did that off camera because that's boring but I did have time to update my um, channel banner Let's see if you guys can see it did have time to update it I just updated, gave it a little bit. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm actually on my other screen over there waiting on, um, well not waiting, but I just finished doing something on my Forex charts. And now I am over here, come on over here. I'm over here doing basic, cut that off doing some basic um, cuts right now. I need to do like some simple cuts on these jeans and then tomorrow I'll do the custom like shredding and places and things like that because a lot of people do custom denim and they just cut, 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 cut. They wash it, it shreds obviously, but I do some custom shredding by hand so the patch won't create a hole. Instead it'll just spread and then threads will still be there. So. I do a little bit of that, but right now on these jeans, these are, I believe these are the, the Levi's, the 550s, and I'm making these for someone um, in particular, and right now it's like 2.46 in the morning. I'm actually about to wrap all this up because somebody just booked a um, strategy session with me for tomorrow, and I kind of want to get a little bit of sleep before then because it's an early strategy session at 11 a.m. so I'm gonna go to sleep in a bit but for right now I'm gonna get a couple of these cuts in so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow don't get laid back cause you're not that cool don't think you're safe and sound walking around breaking rules I bet your parents are worried sick that's not as cool as you think not as cool as you think
So aside from doing this, which I'm going to finish this pair of jeans tonight and one more pair, aside from doing this, um, when I'm taking like my swimsuit photos or whatever, that's a video I'm going to be showing you guys like in a couple of days, how I pair things up to do my like actual website photography as opposed to website and then Instagram photography. So I'm going to be showing you guys that and I'm going to show you how I integrate all these new items um, so that it fits into my actual swimwear brand. Meaning how I was talking to you guys about introducing new items to your shop. If you're going to introduce new items to your shop, like I said in a previous video, the items need to be a part of your brand as opposed to you just wanting to introduce something new and it doesn't go with the aesthetics of your brand that can throw your customer off and it's it can start looking more like a convenient shop type boutique rather than a well put together collected collective um like shop so just make sure that when you're adding new items you're paying specific attention to why you're adding new items even when it comes to props and things like that you don't want to throw people off and because i have more of a lifestyle type um brand it's a lot easier for me to just add things in here and there um but it all makes sense when i'm actually you know um what am i trying to say i'm getting so tired <laughs> it's like three o'clock now it all makes sense when you're building out your brand to have things that fit into your brand and so when you're thinking about like like growing your business you can grow your business off of small add-on items because those those little items could become your staple pieces it could become the pieces that your brand or your boutique or your um, fashion brand always carries and it could become that need um, that must have or that I really need type item for your customers and your customers will come back time and time and time again and that's how I am with my denim my denim is one of my best sellers and I have another best seller um, but I'm not bringing that back right now. I'm not going to bring it back till next spring. And you just work it into your schedule and you work it into your customer's behavior. So if you start seeing like slow like selling um, at a certain point, you introduce some things that could like reawaken old customers and really bring in the new ones. Just keep that in mind. But anyway... I'm going to end this vlog here and I'm going to pick this vlog up tomorrow because um, these are going to be back to back vlogs. So if you've made it this far, please, please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me in the algorithm and it lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, like I said. And I'll see you guys in my next one because I'm tired. Peace.